There was no rise in the number of cases. And even though the churches are now closed, there's still a rise in the number of COVID cases. Now they're saying that as the result, they feel that this is part of the fact that their people are not able to go to church. But let's listen to them, Jeremy. Say to the president of the country that when you close the churches, you are infringing on our right. And therefore we cannot sit down and pray in our rooms only. We will come out into the public and tell you that we are not happy with your decision. We are not happy with your choice. We are not happy with what you are saying. We are asking that you become logical. If you can open the cinema, if you can open the theater, if you can open the gym, if you can open the restaurant, if you can open any other place of establishment, why not the church? We believe that the people who can get COVID-19 in the church can still get COVID-19 in the theater. Therefore, you are declaring that the church is a place of COVID-19. And the church is not a place of COVID-19. A church is a place of spiritual support. A church is a place of spiritual guidance. A church is a place of moral support. Therefore, we are going to pray as we believe that the church must open because the church it is not responsible for spreading of COVID-19. The church is not responsible for killing of the people. Actually, people who died, the 40,000 people died of COVID-19, all of them have been buried by pastors. All of them have been buried by the clergymen. We have been burying people that are not allowed to preach in the church. Those are issues we are here to engage. Those are issues we are here to speak about today. I'm not sure if anyone pointed out to the pastor that gyms 